run patrols through this one village and there was a little orphan boy there that him and I just kind of became friends. Um, then one day we were running a patrol about 150 yards outside the village and he come running across the desert part of it there with something in his hand. I kept hollering at him to stop, but he just kept coming. And I remember when I put my rifle up to my shoulder and I took an aim at him and I heard, I heard the gun go off. One of our colleagues committed suicide and I was the first one on the scene and walking through the door of the, of the hotel room. I can pinpoint everything from the number on the door to you know, going into the bedroom and, and seeing him. The lack of sleep and the waking up in the middle of the night because you, you, you're dreaming about it, you're, you're, you're seeing it over and over again. I would constantly think about, uh, was a motor vehicle accident, people trapped, people on fire, human running down the street on fire. It would affect my sleep, day-to-day -day activities, remember names, faces. I took a 911 call for a gentleman that was unresponsive and found by his wife. I could hear the agonal respirations coming from the patient, then her fear that, oh my gosh, I may lose my husband. That was really what got to me. There was one memory in particular that I would sort of get flashbacks from. It was a motor vehicle accident that had a car fire as well, too. So the individual crashed uh, into a tree, then the vehicle caught fire. The smells, the sights. You think you're fine, but certain things would just trigger, and I'd be brought back to that scene. I witnessed a patient who was assaulted with a baseball bat. And I remember opening the front door and hearing a police officer screaming, it's bad. We could already see all the, the blood spray on the walls. I remember approaching the patient and, you know, stepping in blood. Even after the call was done, something like uh, stepping on apple juice on the floor, the stickiness, we would all of a sudden see this woman bleeding like crazy, moaning, us trying to control the bleeding. I had six months in rank and two of my police officers were shot and killed on the corner. I was five minutes away and it really haunted me because I was there in the ER with them. I did CPR on them and they didn't make it.